My friends, welcome back. I'm just out here getting some beauty shots of my ruckus because these are gonna be its final moments as a blue scooter. If you didn't see the last video where I was working on this thing, I sent off the plastics in the rear frame to be refinished, painted, and powder coated, but ended up taking significantly longer than originally anticipated. So I ended up getting together a spare set of parts and just spraying it with a temporary coating. It's like plastic dip. And you know what? The blue is pretty awesome. I ended up liking it a lot. But I finally got back the original set of parts with some professional coating done. And so everything you see here that is blue, we're gonna be swapping out and this thing is going to really look next level. But like I said, I did end up kind of liking the blue so I wanted to get out here and get some good shots. And you know what? This coating actually held up pretty well. I mean, you know, it's got a couple nicks here. The real problem is that, I mean, it just wants to peel right off. This is really not a durable thing. Up here too, where this stuff was rubbing, it's kind of peeling off a little bit. The blue was fun while it lasted, but let's get back to the studio so I can show you what we got for it. So out with the blue and in with the lavender. We got a custom mixed lavender here. We got the paint perfectly matched to the powder, and there's actually a silver pearl mixed in that you really can't see in the indoor lighting, but when we get this out in the sun, the sparkle is just ridiculous. This is gonna look really, really great. So this is either really smart or, um, but the idea is I've got the front frame and the rear frame suspended because I need to drop the engine and then split the two frames apart so that I can swap on the new piece. And I'm just trying to keep everything pretty controlled so that I can get the new one in without things nicking and bumping into each other too much. So I don't want to scratch it. I don't want to scratch it right away. But I've got both frames here for a little comparison, but this isn't a true before and after of all the work that's been done to this frame because even this frame when I got it had some stuff already done to it. So I'll pop up a picture of how the rear frame looks from the factory and you can see there's a lot of tabs and brackets hanging off and both of those have them all shaved off. But the extra thing that this one has is smoothing of the welds. So if we look at these welds, these are original factory welds and I mean, they're, they're fine, nothing crazy. But over here, this frame has been completely re-welded and smoothed out. And then also, I had new gussets welded in here. They don't come with that. So up close, this is just way more polished of a piece. Okay, I've got the whole thing covered in painter's tape here so that while I'm working on everything, I have less of a chance of scratching it. And now I need to intentionally scratch it. I need to have a good ground connection between the front frame and the rear frame. So I'm gonna grind away a little bit of the powder coating here so that at the connection point, you know, electricity can flow. All right guys, I finished putting it all back together and I've got it pulled out here so I can show you the final product. I am so happy with this thing. I think it's perfect. I love how the color came out. What do you think, dude? Hey, you're blocking the view. You're blocking the view. The internet likes cats better anyway, right?
This is 100% my dream scooter. I think it was like 10 years ago that I first saw a custom Ruckus and thought, man, it'd be kind of cool to do that someday. But I never thought I would get to do such just an insane build and I'm just, just that's 100%, it's 100%. This is amazing. And I know in these videos we usually do a little bit to mine and a little bit to Ashley's, but man, we, we pretty much finished her Metropolitan up in the last video. I don't think, I think, hold on. I don't think you guys have seen this yet. Check this out. Will it show on this light? Boom! We put party lights on hers. Absolutely ridiculous. No matter how much I do mine up, I feel like hers always ends up being just a little bit cooler. Anyways, I've got both the scooters pulled out so I can load them up into this trailer that my good friend Sean has so graciously lent me. So I'm gonna be loading these up and tomorrow morning, Ashley and I are driving over to St. Augustine, which is this really cool, old, historic city in Florida that Ashley has been wanting to visit pretty much since we move to Florida. So we're finally making it over and we're gonna take the 360 camera with us and hopefully get some fun uh, shots of us riding around. So hope you guys enjoy coming along on some of our rides. Yay. 